The Other Side Media Group and 91X now present The Other Side Radio Show, a program about people who make a difference from all walks of life in Quinty and beyond. And now here are your hosts, Jeremy and Joshua Davis. Hi, this is The Other Side Live on location at the Festival of Lights 2020 bar. I'm Jeremy G. Davis, along with Joshua and the entire family, and we're just honored to be at the lodge party. And Mr. Andy Foggy is in the house. We're going to rock the house down and kick out the holiday season in style. Even though I never asked Santa Claus for it, I would always get socks and underwear. And I would go out on Christmas morning, and I would see my friends. They would be skating or tobogganing, making snowmen. It absolutely is. Hey, Stephen. And listen, Andy's going to do his trademark, Socks and Underwear, the song that started it all. So stay tuned. Happy holidays. And hey, Merry, Merry Christmas, Merry, everyone! Merry Christmas! By any chance, did Santa Claus bring you socks and underwear? He said, yes, he did. And then I asked him, I said, did you ask for them? No. no. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Let's well, we just, just listen in, and then you and, and I will, will give some of our <laughs> Christmas memories a bit cool. later. So Merry if you're ready, here's my here. song. It's absolutely. Here we go. Socks and underwear. Socks and underwear. Socks and underwear. Underneath my brother's bed, hanging off a chair. Well, I take them off at that time. They vanish to thin air. Well, I'll keep one eye open for those socks and underwear. Soon it will be Christmas, and I got a call. From my great aunt Gertrude, who lives in Montreal. She said she'd send a package, and it would be here soon. I waited for the postman every afternoon. And when my package did arrive, I began to rip and tear. But all I found inside that box were... Oh, socks and underwear, socks and underwear. Underneath my Christmas tree, hanging off a chair. Well, I take them off at that time, they vanish to thin air. Well, keep one eye open for those socks and underwear. Now you may go off traveling to visit friends or kin. You might sail across the ocean, you might sail back again. You might climb the Eiffel Tower in good old Paris, France. You might find yourself in Waikiki doing a hula dance. Well, don't talk with your mouth full. It's not polite to stare. And always pack some extra. Woo! Socks and underwear. Socks and underwear. Underneath my Christmas tree, hanging off the chair. Well, I take them off at bedtime and they vanish to thin air. Did you know that socks are magical? Well, they are. How many people have ever put two socks in the dryer, but only one sock comes out? Ooh. So remember what your mom always told you. Always pack some extra socks and underwear. Merry Christmas, Andy. Ho, 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 ho. Thanks, Santa. What I always wanted. There you go. And and ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. They even played that song. Are you ready for this? They played it on the CBC radio network. Once. Once. They ran out of every Gordon Lightfoot song that they had. And they thought, oh, we'll give this guy a try. And one day it will take its rightful place in the Songwriting Hall of Fame. Right between Bridge Over Troubled Water and Hey Jude. Somewhere in between there. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, let's do a song now that everybody knows. We played it earlier. But we're doing just the hits, folks. Just the hits. Nothing but the hits. 
you know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? One guess, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose And if you ever saw it You would even say it glowed All of the other reindeer Used to laugh and call him names They never let poor Rudolph Join in any reindeer games Then one foggy Christmas Eve Santa came to say Ho ho! Rudolph with your nose so bright won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Woo! Then how the reindeer loved him As they shouted out with glee Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer You'll go down in his story Well, you're doing a good job But we're going to try it one more time And this time We're going to have some friendly competition Between the girls And the boys now when we get to this part, then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, I'd like just the girls and the grown-up ladies to sing it. So can we try it? Then one foggy Christmas That's perfect. And then the boys and the men will sing, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? You got it, fellas? Yeah. You got it? You got it? We don't need to practice it? No, you got it. Okay, all right. Well, here we go. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Remember your parts now. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. And they never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Ladies, then. Perfect, fellas! Rudolph! As they shouted out with glee, oh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, you'll go down in his story. Ho, ho! Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas, Rudolph. Oh, my goodness, that was fantastic. I want a hippopotamus. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only hippopotamus will do. No crocodiles or rhinoceroses, cause I only like hippopotamuses. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Santa won't mind, will you? He doesn't have to use our dirty chimney flu. Just bring him through the front door, that's all you gotta do. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only hippopotamus will do. No crocodiles. Cause I only like hippopotamuses. And hippopotamuses like me too. <laughs> Thank you. You know, sometimes when I'm playing for the children, they say some funny things, you know, sometimes. They say some funny things. And what they say to me is they say, Hey, Andy. Andy. How old are you, man? Like, how old are you? You sing songs by the Beatles, and you talk about these old TV shows. How old are you? Well, the only way I can explain it is that I'm old enough to remember... The Friendly Giant. I'm old enough to remember Mr. Dress Up. 
I'm old enough to remember Mr. Rogers. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And I'm old enough. <laughs> I get a little emotional now. Just bear with me. <laughs> I'm old enough. <laughs> I'm old enough to remember. <laughs> I'm old enough to remember the last time my Toronto Maple Leafs won the Stanley Cup. <laughs> That's how old I am. Should we keep on rocking? Should we keep on rocking? Yeah. All right. Well, let's do it. We're rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Mistletoes hung where you can see every couple tries to stop. Rocking around the Christmas tree, let the Christmas spirit ring. And then we'll night. have some pumpkin pie and do some caroling. You will get a sentimental feeling when you hear voices singing, let's be jolly. Deck the halls with boughs of holly, rocking around the Christmas tree. Have a happy holiday Everyone's dancing merrily In the new old-fashioned way Well, you will get a sentimental feeling When you hear voices singing Let's be jolly deck those with bells of holly Rocking around the Christmas tree Have a happy holiday Everyone's dancing merrily in the new old-fashioned way. Thank you, guys. That was wonderful. Thank you. Good singing and dancing. My goodness gracious. Well, let's try this one on for size. Let's There's see. There's lots of tasty food booths around here, too. You know what? Yeah. I'm going to try it. Beautiful lights, purpose, great entertainment, the festival lights, and our great friend, Mr. Andy Bogey. He's been at a number of our ready? events. Are you ready? On the other side, you your hands and stomp your feet. So, <laughs> let's enjoy the kickoff to the whole holiday season, 2024. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day and Christmas Day. Saw three ships come sailing in Christmas Day in the morning. And what was in those ships all three on Christmas Day on Christmas Day? What was in those ships all three Christmas Day in the morning? We'll say the Christ and his lady on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. Say the Christ and his lady, Christmas Day in the morning. Yee they sailed into Bethlehem on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. Sailed into Bethlehem, Christmas Day in the morning. Yee And all the bells on earth will ring on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. All the bells on earth will ring Christmas Day in the morning. Can you clap your hands? Can you stomp your feet? All the angels in heaven will sing. Andy just loves entertaining the crowd, doesn't he? Andy always puts on a great show, doesn't he? Oh, you're enjoying some of the great I saw three food, so we'll talk to you after. On Christmas Day, on Christmas Day, I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morning. Great, guys. That was just great. Well, 
I don't know how you follow that. How about we do this? How about we do this song because everybody knows it. How many people are going to build a snowman this year? Oh, sure. How many people have built the best snowman ever, ever, ever? Yeah. So great that you'd like to put it in a refrigerator, a freezer, and Remember keep all your. We did that. Well, Remember we did that as kids this is a song about the most famous snowman of them all. Yeah, I love. It. Oh, Frosty the Snowman was a jolly, happy soul With a corncob pipe and a button nose And two eyes made out of coal Oh, Frosty the Snowman is a fairy tale, they say He was made of snow, but the children know How he came to life one day There must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found for when they placed it on his head, he began to run all the, all the, Oh, Frosty the Snowman was alive as he could be. Yeah, and the children say Square. he could laugh and play the same as you and me. He'd go thumpity thump, thump, thumpity thump, thump. Look at Frosty go. You clap your hands. Thumpity thump, thump, thumpity thump, thump. Over the fields of snow. Well, Frosty the snowman knew the sun was hot that day. So he said, let's run and we'll have some fun before I melt away. So down to the village with a broomstick in his hand. Run here and there all around the square saying, catch me if you can. He led them down the streets of town to a traffic cop. But he only paused a moment when he heard him holler. Oh, Frosty the snowman had to hurry on his way. But he waved goodbye, saying, don't you cry. I'll be back again someday. And he went thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump. Look at Frosty go. Well, thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump over the fields of snow. Look at him go. He's pretty fast for a snowman. Yes, he is. He's very fast. A big fan of John Lennon. And so at this time of year, I'd like to sing a song that John wrote, and I'd like to send it out to John, wherever he is across the universe, and I would like to send it out to one and all, because, my goodness, do we ever need something like this now? And so this is Christmas, and what have you done? Another year over, a new one just begun. And so this is Christmas I hope you have fun With the near and the dear ones The old and the young A very Merry Christmas And a Happy New Year Let's hope it's a good one Without any fear And so this is Christmas For weak and for strong For the rich and the poor one The road is so long And so this is Christmas For black and for white for the yellow and red one Let's stop all the fight And a very Merry Christmas And a Happy New Year Let's hope it's a good one Without any fear
Happy Christmas. Thank you. All right. This one is kind of a fun song, okay? And I don't know about you. I don't know about you. But one day of Christmas is just fine for me. But this fella, he was so goo-goo crazy for his gal that he gave her not one, not two, not three, but 12 days of Christmas. So, and for some reason, he kept giving her a whole bunch of birds. I don't know what it was with the birds, but I hope she's got a barn. I hope so, and lots of newspaper. And you'll find out. Are you ready? Here we go. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. See what I mean about these birds? On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. And then on the fifth day, he decided to shake it up a bit. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five gold rings. That's more like it. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Well, you see, now she thought she was going to get any more birds. Not so lucky. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six geese a lane. Five gold rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Oh, please, no more birds, no more birds. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me seven swans a swimming, six geese a lane, five gold rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the eighth day of Christmas, so this is interesting. My true love gave to me eight maids of milking. Seven swans a swimming. Six geese a lane. Five gold rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. And on the ninth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me, get this, Nine ladies dancing, seven swans, or you hate maids of milking, seven swans are swimming, six geese a lame, five gold rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. And on the tenth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me, every house needs this, ten lords a leaping. Nine ladies dancing, eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a lame, five gold rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eleven pipers piping. Do -do 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 -do. Ten lords a leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a lame, five gold rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Ladies and gentlemen, for the love of all things holy, <laughs> the twelfth. Day of Christmas. <clears throat> On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me 
12 drummers drumming, 11 pipers piping, 10 lords a leaping, 9 ladies dancing, 8 maids a milking, 7 swans a swimming, 6 geese a lame, 5 gold rings, are you ready? 4 calling birds, 3 French hens, 2 turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Oh my goodness! Wow. Wow, if that doesn't wow. get you in the festive mood for Christmas, <laughs> I, I don't know what it will. I'm going to leave you with two songs, okay? Two what songs. did you think of that one? This one I'm going to do because I'm a big fan of Bruce Springsteen, too. <laughs> and so, anyways, Bruce Springsteen does a great version of this song. Yeah. We all yes. know it. So, we're just going to rock it up with it. Oh, right. you better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why, Santa Claus is coming to town. Well, he's making a list, checking it twice, he's going to find out who's not your nice, Santa Claus is coming to town. Well, he sees you when you're sleeping. And he knows when you're awake And he knows if you've been bad or good So for good, for goodness sake Oh, you better watch out You better not cry You better not pout I'm telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town Is he coming to this town? Santa Claus is coming to town Is he coming to Belleville, Ontario, Canada? Santa Claus is coming, Santa Claus is coming, Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> oh, that was great. I've had such a wonderful time this evening. I want to thank you all for coming out. Gorgeous night, gorgeous night. I'd like to thank my good friend Rick over here, who's behind all those controls, making sure that everything works. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. <laughs> I'd like to thank Scotty for being the MC. I'd like to thank Garnet Thompson for chairing the committee to bring this all together. All of the amazing counselors, the mayor of Belleville, all of the incredible volunteers, and also the incredible donators who make this thing happen because it does doesn't happen unless there's a little bit of do re mi in there too for sure and i'm not talking about the notes <laughs> no i'm not anyways folks i'd like to leave you with a song we all know so well we wish you a merry christmas we wish you a merry christmas we wish you a merry christmas and a happy new year good tidings we bring wherever you are good tidings for christmas Happy New Year, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Happy Christmas, everyone! Thank you so very much! Old Time Christmas by Joshua Davis. Snowflakes on the window pane Looks like Christmas is coming once again Toys piled high on the department store Will holly and mistletoe hang on your front door These are some of the symbols of the season And it is with good reason That we celebrate with family and friends who we adore. We sit around the kitchen table singing O Come All Ye Faithful waiting for the festive dinner we are about to receive on this night the Holy Eve. Santa Claus brings presents to little children in his uh, knapsack when the kids are fast asleep 
And that's all of that. May the Christmas tree lights shine ever so bright. And may this be the beginning of a New Year's delight. Old time Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everybody. I love you all. And God bless. The Other Side Radio Show is a production of the Other Side Media Group in association with 91X. You can connect on Facebook at the Other Side Media Group, Instagram at Jeremy Tyler Davis, or on YouTube at Jeremy T. Davis Belleville, Ontario for on-demand episodes and more. Tune in next week for another episode of the Other Side Radio Show.